Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing a huge fall decor and home decor haul. So if you guys would like to see all of the goodies that I picked up, just keep watching. I'm going to start out with a couple of my favorite things, these gorgeous glass pumpkins. I found these at Joann's and the moment I saw these, I was instantly in love with them. I think these are so pretty. I absolutely love the color of the glass on them. And I also love the fact that these are open underneath because I plan on adding some battery operated lights to these. So I think these are going to be perfect. I picked up two of these candle holders. I fell in love with these when I saw them. These are from Walmart, you guys. I just love the unique look that these had. I was actually on the hunt for just two plain glass ones, just like these, but with plain glass. And then when I spotted these, I knew I had to have them. I just immediately fell in love with them. So I plan on using these with some of my flameless candles. So I'll show you guys what they look like with the flameless candles in them. Here is how they look with the flameless candles in them. I think they look so great, you guys. I am so in love with these flameless candles. I have so many of these and they are just perfect. You don't have to worry about putting them somewhere if they'll get hot or if you leave home and you forget to turn them off, it's no big deal. You don't have to worry about them burning down your house. I picked up this sign right here that says, Hello Fall. If you watch my Fall Decor Shop With Me video, you would have seen this gorgeous sign right here. This is from Joanne Fabrics. Also, by the way, right now, I am currently watching one of my favorite movies. This one is Ocean's 8. If you guys haven't ever watched this movie, I definitely recommend it. It has Sandra Bullock in it and Uma Thurman and a bunch of other really good people. So definitely recommend this one. I also picked up this thankful sign from Joann's. This was on sale for only $5. So originally when I bought this, the frame was a little bit of a lighter wood. So I just took some of my favorite color of stain and darkened it up just a little bit to match my decor. Next, I have some more Ray Dunn Halloween goodies to share with you guys. I feel like we have been getting so lucky on finding Ray Dunn Halloween goodies this year. It makes me so happy. Once again, my amazing husband came in for the win on this one. He stopped again the other day on his way home and he found me some Halloween goodies. So I'll start out first by showing you what he picked up for me. So first of all, he found me this little baby boo canister and I cannot even tell you guys how excited I was when I saw this. This is just the cutest little canister. Love this so much. He picked me up a couple of mugs. He picked me up this one here that says Witch's Brew, which I'm also very excited about because I had been on the hunt for this one. And then he also found this purple magic one, which again, so excited about. And then lastly, he picked me up this black spooky pumpkin. If you guys remember in my last video, I found the little baby spooky pumpkin and he found this one right here. I don't think this is the biggest one. I think this is the medium sized one. So now I have the little baby one as well as this medium sized one. And I love it. And then I also found a couple of Halloween goodies when I was out shopping with my mom. So I ended up finding this spooky cauldron. And then you guys, I found this bigger hocus pocus one. I am just in love. I was so happy when I found these. I cannot even tell you guys. I was basically wanting to just jump for joy in the store because I never thought I would end up finding them. So very grateful I was able to find those and also very grateful for my husband for hunting for me. He is seriously the best and usually he has better luck than I do. Next are some of these little pumpkin spoons. If you guys watched my fall decor shop with me video, then you probably saw these. These are from Hobby Lobby. So I thought that these would be perfect for my fall coffee station. So these were $9.99, which I did think was a little bit pricey, but then they were on sale for 40% off. I picked up this little sign from Hobby Lobby. I thought this would be perfect to go on a tiered tray. So it just says pumpkin patch, hay rides, and apple cider open daily. This was $2.99 and then it was on sale for 40% off. One thing that I love about this sign is how it has the buffalo check all around the outside of it because you guys know how I love my buffalo check. Another thing that I picked up from Hobby Lobby is this wood stand. I love this so much. I probably said that about every single thing that I've shown, but I really love this stand. 
So I just have this sitting on the counter in my kitchen. And as you can see, I did start putting out some of my fall decor. I'm sure you noticed throughout this video. One of my favorite things about this stand are the little X's on the ends. So we just finished remodeling our kitchen a couple of months ago. And when we did that, Bill added some X's to the ends of our island. So I thought that this stand matched the kitchen perfectly. I also wanted to quickly show you guys these little pumpkins on here. I did glitter the stems. I know I just mentioned this in my shop with me video. So this little baby pumpkin here is one of the ones that I showed you guys in my Hobby Lobby fall decor shop with me. This is one of the ones that comes on a pick. So basically I just pulled these off from the picks and then the stems were just kind of a brown color and I just used some Mod Podge and gold glitter and I think they look so pretty like this. And then these bigger pumpkins at the back, I just did the exact same thing. Those had kind of like a gold leafing on them. I don't know. I've had those for years. They're from Target and I was just kind of getting bored with them. So like I said, you can just add some glitter to the stems and it gives them a whole new look. And then over here next to the stand, I have this canister that I picked up from Walmart. So it has this pretty hobnail design, which I love. And then loving the wood lid and the gold little pull on top. This is by the brand Better Homes and Gardens, and I'm pretty sure they had this available in two or three different sizes. Also, this is kind of random, but I wanted to show you guys anyways. I recently picked up some of my favorite fall drinks from TJ Maxx. So I picked up some of these coffees right here. First of all, if you guys remember, I bought this one last year. This is one of my favorites. The Hocus Pocus, I need coffee to focus. This one is in pumpkin pecan. And oh my gosh, you guys, this one is so good. It's basically just like fall in a cup. This one as well, the fall in love vanilla nut cream. I buy this one every single year. And then I also picked up one of my favorite fall teas right here. This Vermont maple ginger. I always get so excited for all of the fall drinks. I cannot wait for pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks. Another thing I wanted to mention, I feel like it's been so long since I've talked to you guys and I have so many things I want to show you. We did get a new Keurig, so Bill ended up surprising me with this white one because ever since we redid the kitchen and it's pure white, I just felt like the other one didn't match. It was just way too creamy. So he ended up finding this one for me and I was just honestly so excited. All right, I am getting ready to make myself a cup of coffee. I am making some of the pumpkin pecan because looking at that coffee, made me want a cup. So I'm going to brew myself up a cup of that. If you guys are wondering what we normally use, we just use these little reusable K-cups because most of the time we just grind our own coffee. We usually buy beans and then we grind them and then it is nice and fresh. I love the way this coffee smells when it is brewing. It smells really good. And then another thing that Bill also bought me, this is when we were on quarantine, is this Starbucks tumbler right here. I had wanted this one so bad and he ended up getting this for me so i was so happy they also had a black one i think like this last halloween and i'm really hoping that they have the black one out again this year because if they do i want to get one for bill it looks like my coffee is basically done look at that it looks so good i wish you guys could smell this it just smells amazing i love the smell of fresh coffee another thing i have been loving in my coffee is this ready whip nitro creamer this stuff is so good you guys sorry I feel like I'm kind of just getting way off subject I feel like this is turning more into a vlog but I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second because it's just been so long so hopefully you don't mind Next, I picked up some of these canisters from Target. So I ended up getting two sizes in these. Also, how adorable is Madison? She's just back there peeking over at the back of the couch watching me. I'm actually kind of wondering where her partner in crime, Winnie, is. Probably off getting into trouble. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was so funny. Did you see her? She just popped her little head up like, boop, here I am. They are so funny, you guys. Whenever I'm filming or cleaning the house, no matter what I'm doing, they just love to follow me around and kind of see what I'm doing. They are just so hilarious. So here is a close-up of the canisters. I absolutely love these canisters. I'm actually thinking about going back and getting more. They were out of stock the last time I was there, but hoping they will get more in soon. And the pups are still back there watching me. They crack me up, you guys. Those are my best friends back there. 
<laughs> also, speaking of the pups, look at them. They're just right here waiting. I picked them up a ton of dog toys. You guys are probably going to think that I'm insane, but PetSmart was having the best sale ever. So first of all, I had went to Home Goods and I picked the dogs up each one of these toys right here, which are $5.99. She's patiently waiting for a toy. So I picked them up each one of these. These were $6 a piece. And then I went to PetSmart and they had all of these toys right here on clearance for a dollar. 49 which I think they were normally eight or nine dollars a piece which is such an amazing deal So I just decided to grab a ton of them and I'm not going to be giving them all of these at one time I'm going to give each of them one and if you guys are wondering why I bought so many It's because of this little toy destructor right here Winnie. She tears toys up so fast. Oh, hi Madison She's just standing there so patiently you guys are gonna get a new toy just a second so this is why I grab so many because sometimes she will tear up a toy in half a day or a day. So I figured for only $1.49, I couldn't beat that price. So I just decided to stock up and hopefully these will last for a while. I really like these because they have the crinkly sound and then they also squeak. So that got their attention. So all of these kind of crinkle and then they also squeak are you guys gonna get a toy look at them they're like we're in toy heaven they probably just want to take all of them okay you guys can each pick one toy i think madison wants the skunk she wants the one on the bottom look at her go ahead you're gonna get a toy oh now she wants the one in my hand okay i have to take the tag off from it though they both have that one Winnie, come here. You want to get a toy, Winnie? Winnie just wants whichever one Madison has, so he'll probably share that one. Oh, here comes Winnie. She's back. She said she needs a skunk, too, because Madison has one, and she has to be Madison's twin. A few moments later. I finally wrestled it away from them so I could take off the tag and look. They're like, okay, we'll take that. And they're off. This guy right here is one of my favorite things that I picked up. This guy is from Big Lots and my mom and I actually each ended up getting one of these. It's so funny you guys because we had been looking at these ever since last year. We were going to buy one last year but we thought $40 was a little bit pricey. So we were waiting for them to go on sale or on clearance after summer. Well we ended up missing out on them. But this year we found them on clearance plus the same day they were on clearance we had coupons for 20% off. So I think we ended up getting these for right around $14 or $15. So my mom and I were so excited. Also, I don't think I mentioned he lights up. So this is what he looks like all lit up. I think that he is so cute and I think it's just going to be perfect to have out for the different holidays. My mom actually had the idea that this would be adorable with a witch's hat on it for Halloween and I agree. I thought that was just the coolest idea. Next, I have some goodies from Bath & Body Works. If you guys watched my last video, you saw that they have a bunch of their fall and Halloween stuff out, which is my favorite. I'm gonna start out with the soaps that I picked up. I ended up getting six soaps, but I'll start out with the Halloween ones first because I'm most excited about these. So I ended up getting two of the candy corn treats with this adorable witch on the packaging. I also really want that candle that I showed you guys in my video. I think it was Hot Cocoa and Scream. It also has the witch, the exact same witch as the soap on the packaging of that candle. So I definitely want to get that one. The witch soap is in the scent candy corn treats. It just has a nice sweet smell to it and it is described as enchanted marshmallow, chilling lavender, and candy corn. And then I picked up one of the spooky night soaps. I thought this would be perfect in the bathroom in Bill's man cave. And that one is described as haunting sage, scary sandalwood, and terrifying tonka bean. And then for fall soaps, I picked up two of my all-time favorite, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I usually like to stock up on these every year. I'll probably wait until the soaps go on sale for a really good price and stock up on this one because I like to be able to have it all year. Also, I'm sorry if you guys can hear that noise in the background. Bill is in the garage right now building a project for me, which is a surprise I cannot wait to share with you guys. And then lastly, for soaps, I picked up a pumpkin cupcake soap, another one of my fall favorites. Next is this Haunted House Wallflower plug. I ended up buying this online. I think this was $12.50. I found somebody had one of these for sale. This is the one from last year and it was brand new. It still had all the packaging on it. If you guys remember, I showed you guys that other 
one at the store and it was $32.50 and I really didn't want to pay that much. And then I looked them up online and I found this one from last year and I fell in love with it. So I decided to order this one. This is what it looks like when it is plugged in. It just has a green spooky glow to it. I also picked up this baby crystal ball right here. This is a candle topper. I was actually looking at some of the Halloween stuff and then the girl walked by and turned this little guy on. I didn't even pay any attention to it. And then when she turned it on and I saw it lit up purple, I knew that I had to have it. This is what it looks like when it is lit up. It's kind of hard to see it on camera. It's just not doing it justice. So hopefully you guys can just kind of get an idea. And this is just magnetized and it just sticks right on top of your Bath & Body Works candle. And then the last thing I have from Bath & Body Works is this candle right here. I actually picked this one up a couple of weeks ago during the semi-annual sale. This one is in the scent Palo Santo. And how pretty is the packaging on this one? This one is described as Palo Santo wood, warm amber, soft musk with essential oils. I cannot believe how good this candle smells and now I'm kind of regretting not buying more of these because this one smells so good. I wish I could just give you guys a sniff if I could hold this up and you guys could smell it. Wouldn't that be cool? Next, I have a few things that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start out with this huge stack of books right here. I found all of these amazing books at the Dollar Tree, you guys. I was so excited when I found all of these. So I'll just quickly go through and show you the books that I picked up. I picked up this one called Christmas in London, Single State of Mind, The Total Me Talks, Brooklyn Rustic. This one looked like it had so many great recipes in it. I'm really excited to try some of the recipes in this book. This one looks like it has so many good ones. So what Bill and I like to do is usually try some type of a new recipe every week. It's just something fun that we like to do together. So I'm excited to check out some of the food recipes as well as some of the drink recipes in this book. Like I said, I still can't believe they had so many amazing books at the Dollar Tree. Endless Summer Cookbook. Again, this one looks like it has some great recipes. There are a ton of delicious looking dessert ones in here. Very excited to try some of these out as well. This next one is called The Maker. I thought this book looked so cool. I love the shape of it. And then lastly, Manhattan Classic. This one, I don't know if you guys can tell, this one is still in the wrapper. And this one said on the back that this was normally $50. So I thought this was a great find. I thought this would be a perfect coffee table book. I'm still so shocked that I found all of these books at the Dollar Tree. I also ended up finding this Jesse James Decker book. I was so excited to find this one. I was watching someone else's Dollar Tree Shop With Me video and I saw this book in their video. So I was hoping to find it. So my mom and I were shopping at Dollar Tree and I didn't even see it. My mom pointed it out. She's like, what's this one? Just Jesse. And I was so happy because like I said, this is the one that I had been looking for. I'm still so shocked that I found all of these books at the Dollar Tree. And then the other thing that I found at Dollar Tree, I just thought this was the cutest thing ever, is this little corgi calendar right here. Now, my Dollar Tree only had one of these. I don't know if at one point they had different dogs, but I just thought this was adorable. So I could not pass this little guy up, so I just keep him on my desk. The second I start filming it is so funny because she always runs into the frame when he always does that. Hi, baby. So I also wanted to share with you guys a couple things that I picked up on clearance at Pier 1 Imports. The Pier 1 Imports here is going out of business. I actually think all of them are going out of business. So I picked up a couple Easter decor pieces. So first of all, you guys, I am so in love with these coasters right here. You get a set of four of them. And I think these were normally 15 and then they ended up being around, I want to say $3. My mom actually bought these for me. She is so sweet. Love these. And then the other thing from Pier 1 is this giant bunny right here, if you guys remember. I'm pretty sure I showed this in one of my Shop With Me videos. I absolutely love him. And I think he was normally, let's see, he was normally 70 and he was marked down to, I think, about $14. Love this guy so much. He has this little lantern. You can put a flameless candle in there. I'm definitely going to miss Pier 1. I'm sad that they're going out of business. And then one other Easter decor item that I picked up is this carrot right here. I actually found this at Marshall's. I think this was around $2.50. I just thought this was really cute. So still out there finding Easter decor. 
The last thing I have to show you guys is this Hey There Pumpkin Welcome Mat. I found this at Kirkland's. Bill and I stopped in there about a week and a half ago and they had all of their fall decor out. Kirkland's has so much nice fall decor, you guys. I'll include a couple clips here and show you a few things that we saw. They had some different welcome mats. They always have a ton of pretty pumpkins there. Kirkland's is definitely one of my favorite stores to go into and look at all of the fall decor. I also love how when you first walk in, it just smells amazing. It was funny. The second we walked in, that's the first thing Bill said. It smells really good in here. And I said it always does. If you guys shop at Kirkland's, then you know that it always smells amazing the second you walk in. So like I said, Kirkland's is one of my favorite stores to shop for fall decor. I feel like they always have some of the nicest signs during fall and other holidays as well at Christmas. They always have some really nice ones as well. So it's always just fun to go walk around the store and check everything out. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. That is everything from my fall decor haul. I'm going to get going. I think Bill and I are going to take a ride out to the greenhouse. We're looking for a couple of plants, so we are going to take a ride out there. Maybe I'll even vlog and take you guys along with us because this is just the coolest greenhouse I'll show you guys probably in my next video. We just always love going there. So that is going to be it for this video. I did start filming my fall decorate with me video, so that should be up in another week or two. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and you're excited to see more fall videos. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next video.